Hey guys, do again. Now, I know a lot of you internet wrestling fans out there are pretty much upset of the new direction that Kane's going through at WWE. We all saw him with a suit and tie at Raw. Some of you are saying that they're ruining Kane, and some of you are saying that it's ripping off TNA's uh, Joseph Park's uh, character. Now, I think that it's just a fanboyish thing to say that, oh, they're ripping them off because they just, these people always hate WWE and they want to find some ways to say that they're doing something wrong by ripping this thing off and that thing off and all that stuff. Now, I want to touch upon the whole ripping off thing. I would find this new Kane character to be a ripoff of Joseph Park slash Abyss character if Kane acted as if like he didn't know who he was. Which, obviously, seeing what happened last week, and this week coming out to his own music, it's obvious that he is who he is. That he's in his right frame of mind, the character's in his right frame of mind, that he willfully chose to join forces with Triple H and Stephanie McMahon in the corporation. And he's dressing up corporate-like. What's wrong with that? It's not a ripoff. With the Joseph Parks character, he's a lawyer, okay? He's the brother of Abyss. But now it's apparent that people are speculating that Abyss and Joseph Parks are one and the same. But with this character, it's not, you know what I mean? But I think WWE is trying to capitalize on something. That the fact that Glenn Jacobs, who plays Kane, um, is actually a well-educated man. Yeah. You ever hear him talk about political views and stuff like that? He ha he freaking knows what he's talking about. He's so smart that I wouldn't be surprised if one day he runs for office or something like that. And heck, if you wrestling fans actually are fans of Kane, if you read Unscripted, you would know that Kane has a English uh, degree, a bachelor's degree in English, and was once a teacher, like myself. He was a teacher. And actually has a lot of respect for teachers, seeing that we teachers go through a lot. But, so I think that WWE's want to capitalize on that because you wrestling fans out there are leaking things out about these wrestlers, kayfabe, I mean, breaking kayfabe all together. So I guess WWE is saying, well, why don't we make this as a character, okay? Now, to talk about you fans out there saying that they're ruining Kane, it's not ruining Kane, it's a new beginning for him. I mean, how long do you guys expect him to be the Big Red Machine, okay? How long? I mean, he's been it since 1997, which is going on 16 freaking years. And when you become a character like that, it does tend to go pretty stale. You know, you can't be the same character for long. Even Hulk Hogan did the same exact thing where he was Hulk Hogan, the red and yellow and stuff, uh, red and yellow and stuff like that. America, say your prayers, your vitamins. And then when he came to WCW, he totally changed that, become the um, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Big change. You know, there's nothing wrong going back to that character down the line. Heck, when he took off his mask, um, it became a few years before he put the mask back on. It's like, oh, we missed him with the mask on. And now he took his mask back off and becoming this new character. Now, will he go back to being the Big Red Machine? Maybe. But I think it's just time for a change, people. I mean, seriously. You know, even you internet wrestling fans were complaining of the fact that... <clears throat> It's gone stale and stuff like that. That you didn't agree with him being part of Team Hell No and stuff like that. Which I thought was one of the best things he had ever done with Daniel Bryan. And I feel that his match with Bray Wyatt was a great way to end this character for now. Or put it to bed until something comes up. I mean, they're going to revisit it one day, okay? Of him being the big red machine. But right now... This whole corporation angle is very red hot, so they need someone else. And also an adversary for the big show, since he's going after Randy Orton. They need some extra protection, because let's face it, him going against the Shield is not enough. You know, the Shield cannot match the power of the big show, okay? So they have 
special ammunition to make Big Show give him a, a good adversary. So that way it makes him a good babyface. I know a lot of people are upset about him being in the spotlight now and not Daniel Bryan. But I already mentioned that. You can watch that video. But if you want me to explain it again, I'll do that some, time, some, some other time. But we all know why. Okay, so I'm for this character. I hope you guys are. You know, I know you guys are not. Alright, but anyway, um, that's all I have to say about it. Feel free to comment about how you feel about Kane's new direction. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Take care.